Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Gamer Rise as we're into our final round of Season 2 on Career Mode in F1 2017. Ben Waterworth is my name, Ben Waterworth is the driver's name, we're driving for Toro Rosso and we're about to go a lap of the Yas Marina circuit for one, chap, one shot qualifying. Best qualifying here was 15th back in Season 1 of F1 2016 and we've only ever finished in the points once here. So let's do this. We've had 7 DNFs this season and 5 points finishes. Been a very disappointing season two here on F1 2017, but uh, hopefully we can end this season on a high and uh, get a little bit of a, a sniff at another contract for another team. But again, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to be stuck for a third season with Toro Rosso, which I guess the positive with that is that we can uh, look at developing the car, pushing up a little bit, and uh, challenging a little bit more for some uh, higher positions and also challenging for a better Season 4 seat. So uh, I guess uh, short-term pain for long-term gain, and we'll see how we go. Good start here to the lap. We're currently finding ourselves in 5th, only in 15th place. So, um, you know, we can hold on to this pace. We can maybe do a surprise. Highest ever qualifying on F1 2017 at the moment is actually 5th. Uh, so, uh, we'd be matching that right now, but I feel we're going to lose some pace in the back end of this track here. It's one that, uh, as I said, best qualifying of 15th. It's never qualified in the top 10 here on Casual Gamer Oz at Yas Marina. There's always time for a first, if we can again hold on to this pace. Drop back to 6 at the moment, and we're going to push ourselves wide there, and that's going to really cost us some time. And as I said, I reckon we'd lose some pace in the second half of this track, and we are doing that now. And I think our top 10 aspirations have gone, particularly with that little mistake there. But uh, we'll see if uh, we can... Uh, no, we've dropped all of that down to 15th now. Yep. Not going to happen. We're not even going to qualify on target here by the looks of things. Into the last turn. Turn. Going to cross the line and equal our best ever qualifying at Yas Marina of 15th. Jeff is happy. Yeah, look, why not? We'll take it. I mean, you know, we were looking good early on, but uh, maybe that's going to show a good pace for the race. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter for the championship. It's all over. Ferrari have won. Vettel has uh, got second. So Vettel, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Bottas, uh, Ricardo Sabin, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Let's get into race day. We're going to do that now. Best finish here, 10th. That was then our first season here in F1 2017. 15th on uh, Season 1, F1 2016, and got myself deliberately disqualified in uh, Season 2 in uh, F1 2016 because I was having a bit of fun with that one to close out F1 2016. So, here we go. Obviously a bit of an empty feeling coming to this race and not really uh, being able to achieve much, but, um, you know, we can try and uh, get into ninth in the championship, but I uh, don't think we're going to do that. Our rivalry, uh, we are getting thumped as always, and nobody wants us. We're out of the red zone a little bit, that's good. Got a dry race. We're going to end this one for you folks, and we're going to see how we go to close out a dismal Season 2 on F1 2017. This will be our worst season since our first season on F1 2016, and even in that season, you know, we at least got a podium and pole. Not going to get a podium in this race, so uh, this will be our worst season overall, our first season without any podiums, first season without a pole position. Actually, no, last season was our first season without a pole position, but um, our first non-podium season. So Let's uh, see how we go here. In our final Grand Prix for Season 2, will this be our last race for Toro Rosso? I highly doubt it. I feel as though we're going to be lining up in a Toro Rosso come Albert Park, but we'll see. We could be surprised here. All right, folks, are you ready for this? Are you ready to say goodbye to a pretty shit season? I am. Five lights. Let's go. I'm going to cut straight across there so we can move the inside line. I've got a car on the left of me. I don't know who it is. It's a... Uh, oh, it's my teammate. Whoa, whoa, and I get squeezed in between my teammate and Lance Stroll. There was a bit of body work of somebody. I don't think it was me. I've got no damage according to the indicator. And Jeffrey hasn't come on with his condescending tone and been like, okay, you've just fucked that one up. Whoa, as I get a little bit antsy with my teammate. I'm going to go around the outside of him there. I'm just going guns blazing here in Abu Dhabi. Nothing to lose. We put ourselves up into 11th place. Now, we don't want to take a Renault out because we want to see if they might hire us as uh, we get alongside there with the Hulk. He's going to be behind us now so we can cut across him there. Hello, Nick. How are you doing? Good? Awesome. 
And, uh, uh oh. We've got Esteban Bloody Ocon in front of us here, folks. You know what generally happens with him? Bloody pink power Frenchman. Alright. What's our, uh, fuel mix? Oh god, terrible. Obviously the, uh, engine getting worn uh, a little bit more here. We didn't put a fresh one in. Uh, we barely even changed many of the engines this time around, actually. And, uh, obviously I think the only thing that really hampers then is, uh, the little bit more it's worn, the fuel mix is a little bit down. You can't sort of flick that up enough. So, uh, there you go. That's something that we can learn for next season. It's very dark here. Obviously this is, uh, generally a, a twilight race. The fact that halfway through it will be night, but again, the simulation on these shorter races isn't as much where they can sort of uh, really simulate that, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but uh, very dark, very, very dark. Hamilton leading it. Again, it doesn't really matter. The championship's over, but, um, you know, Lewis getting another victory here. All right. At least if we finish in 11th, it's above where they want us to, so it might give us a bit of a... Hey guys, look at me moment. And again, if you race with a Renault and a Force India and you do it cleanly and you get ahead of them, then they might take a little bit of notice of you and then we might end up uh, pink power ourselves or yellow and black power. Anyway, getting ahead of ourselves, what we did in Mexico. We saw what happened there. All right, 11th place. The frustrating position just outside the points. But... I think we can get Ocon. I, I'm going to say it. We can get Esteban. Little prick. Come at me, bro. Come at me, Esther, bro. These corners here are so unforgiving at uh, Abu Dhabi. It's not like one of these ones where you can really clip them. See me get all out of shape, Sarah. And now, Hulkenberg, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Nico? You are not going to make that move, Stick. Jesus, you've got some balls on you there, Mr. Hulkenberg. Wow! And I've pushed him back to get overtaken by Grosjean, my rival. Um, i tell you what, that was ballsy. I backed out of that because I could feel him clipping me. And, uh, wow, that was great racing. See, if that was Esteban Ocon or a Sauber, I would have ended up in the wall. Nico Hulkenberg, in real life, such an underrated driver. Gee, I hope Renault can get some uh, pace on that car in real life because... He's got to get at least a podium before he ends up. He's never finished on the podium. I think he holds a record now for most races without a podium. Poor Nico Hulkenberg. Such a nice guy. All right, DRS enabled. Don't know about my chances of catching uh, Ocon now after that little battle with, uh, with the Hulk. And then also after running myself off the circuit there. And I've got Grosjean. That's oh, Magnussen, actually. Not Grosjean all over me. So I think Grosjean's even further back, which is good. The further I finish ahead of him, the more I gain on him in our rivalry, which uh, I'm getting thumped in all of a sudden after it started off pretty promisingly. Or is... No, oh, Grosjean is actually ahead of me. Okay, never mind. Getting excited for no reason. Alrighty. To our final couple of laps of this season, and it looks like we're going to miss out on a point ever so slightly, unless a miracle can happen ahead of us. And as we uh, often know, that is not the case in this game. We want to go into that part there, the Yas Marina little clear blue thing. That looks really cool. Well, Magnuson getting racy there. That arrow's going to get darker and darker and darker. He might even have DRS on him at that point too. I'm not too sure. Was, uh, whoa, good, good move there. I do like this circuit. It's just... Um, such a bland race in terms of that you never have good races here in real life. And, uh, oh, god damn it, Ben, what are you doing there? Um, I feel as though that, yeah, Brazil should still be the season finale. It's such a good circuit. It always has entertaining races. Whereas this looks spectacular, don't get me wrong, and I'd love to go to this race. Um, Ferrari World's right next to all this big Ferrari theme park. But, um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't, um enjoy it as an overall spectacle because you just never have a good race here. I think there's been one good Grand Prix at uh, Yas Marina that was uh, 2012 from memory. It's the one that uh, Raikkonen won and I think Vettel came from the back to basically get second or third on the on the track. So uh, yeah, I just, anyway, I'm talking out loud. That's what I have to do. 
Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be listening. You'd just be listening to a car driving. Anyways, this Pine Ultimate Lapid is fourth. I thought it might have been the last, but it's not. Uh, we're just holding on to 11th here. We've got a nice little train behind us. We've got the Trulli train. Flashback there to some uh, early 2000s. Uh, how's our fuel going? 50. Yeah, God, that's disappointing, isn't it? La -da -da, finishing a shit season. It's been terrible. We're going to drive down the straight like a dickhead. Because that's what we can do. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Don't know why I'm singing this song. Because I can, motherfucker. Anyway. I really hope this isn't like the first time you've ever watched Casual Gamer Rolls. Because um, you probably think, what the fuck am I watching? Not that you don't think that even if you're an avid viewer of to us. Uh, but uh, welcome aboard. Uh, righty then. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Whee! <laughs> Just... I really don't know why you're watching. Okay. Fuck off, Magnuson. Go suck your own balls, honey. Whoa. Deep, 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 deep. Uh, if Haas... Oh, I don't want to drive for Haas. I drove for Haas on uh, my first season of that one that I was saying with that Moby Trelli. Uh, and I guess in game they're a little bit better than Toros. I guess Science hasn't scored any points this year, has he? But, um, yeah, no, I don't want to drive for Haas. Because I think technically in the performance tree, if you look at it, they're below us. So, um, yeah. Anyway, all right, last lap of F1 2017 Season 2. What is going to happen here to close off a rubbish season? All my retirements this year, all seven of them, have come on the opening lap of the race that I've retired in. So that's an interesting stat for you. Um, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, it means shorter videos for you to have to get through at least. Generally, you can look at the uh, timestamp on one of our videos here on Casual Gamer Oz and you're going to know at what point I've finished in the race. So uh, there's something, uh, you know, in case you haven't realised that, you can check that out for Season 3. Obviously, uh, in between this and our third season on Career Mode, we will, of course, jump into some uh, online races, as we have done in the previous modes. Have a bit of fun with those. And again, if you're watching this and thinking, oh, wouldn't it be fun to beat Ben because he's a terrible driver, and you've got PlayStation, uh, add me. My handle is NYC55David, all lowercase. That is N for Nelly, Y for Yellow, C for Child, 5 as in the number 5, 5 as in the number 5, D for David, A for Apple, V for Vagina, uh, I for Igloo, and D for David. That's my username. So, there you go. Alright. Just uh, trying to hold on here to suck my balls, honey. That sounds a bit inappropriate, doesn't it? Anyway. Uh, Hamilton's won the Grand Prix. Good for you, Lewis. Another bloody world championship. Oh. Yep. All right. It's going to be ours to for the taking. It's been a season to forget, and one that I definitely have forgotten already because uh, we're going to focus now to season three here in F1 2017. We crossed the line, eleventh place. Good job. You did really well. Super driving. Yeah, not really. Um, only made up four places, but Jeff, if that's what you want to say to me, bro, then. Uh, Sure, let's let's take that on board. All right, so we're going to close this out. We'll see just at least the start of um, where we might end up for season three. Uh, so Hamilton, Raikkonen, Vettel, Botas, Verstappen, Ricardo. Have a bit of a look at the start. Just at least see how we went. Because um, my teammate... Um, I want to see that Hulkenberg move too, actually. Look at this side by side with my teammate. Oh. If you don't mind, that's where I got sandwiched between the two, wasn't it? All right. And I had a bit of a, more of a little race here with him too, didn't I, coming to this section? Look at that side by side. Will he be my teammate next? You don't know. Don't know if I'm driving Toro or so yet. It'd be nice if they, like, you got this contract thing signed out, like, in real life. I think it's actually in, um... F1 Championship Edition, you got your offers sort of a few races from the end. So I liked how they did that. Because at least you knew who you were going to drive for uh, the next season. So let's take a look here at Hulkenberg. Very racy. Is it this section here? Or is it the next? That might be the next lap, actually. Yeah, it must be the next lap. That looks cool. Fast motion, doesn't it? Da -da -da -da. Isn't this so exciting for you? Anyway, here we go. Look at this. He has balls of steel going up there, right against the barrier, if you don't mind. 
I cut across him. That's a terrible camera angle. I'm not going to see the true extent of it. Oh, exciting racing there. Love it. Uh, so Hamilton, Raikkonen, Vettel, Bottas, Verstappen, Ricardo, Perez, Massa, Grosjean, Ocon. I just miss out there, unfortunately. But if we click the standings, and uh, so Hamilton wins a championship uh, from Vettel. Raikkonen gets third. Bottas, Ricardo, Verstappen, Massa, Perez, Grosjean. I finish in 10th place, 26 points. That is my lowest ever points tally in Casual Game Mirage. My first season for Sauber in F126, and I got 35 points. But I still managed to get 10th place, which is the second lowest off, which actually was 11th back in uh, that season. But my lowest ever points tally, such a disappointing season. Uh, Stroll with 24 points in 11th. Hulkenberg, disappointing year for Renault. Do I want to go for Renault? Uh, 15 points for them. Ocon, 13 points for Force India, the prick. Magnussen with 5 points. Verline, Sauber, 4 points. Alonso with 2 Palmer got one point, but signs my teammate no points. Ericsson none, Van Dorn none. So only three drivers this year not scoring points. Constructors, well, Ferrari take that one for a second consecutive season here in F1 2017. Mercedes uh, second, Red Bull third, Williams fourth, Force India fifth, Haas six. We drop down to seventh with only 26 points. Renault gets 16 points. Sauber with four, two points from McLaren. Obviously, Force India would be the team we want out of those. I mean, technically, Williams are going to be up there, but I don't know if we're going to get off. We're going to find out in just a second. So let's get out of this. I'm going to go to advance, and we'll at least stick here to see if we get an offer. This is the big dramatic reveal that we always have at the end of a season. Who will we be driving for in season three on career mode F1 2017. I'm going to just assume we're going to be with Toro Rosso again, which look, you know, we can look at some development and uh, move it forward a little bit more. Because obviously you've got to start again, don't you, pretty much, if you go, I don't know if they keep some of the development. All right, so uh, the resource points, I'm um, all the way up to 12. How did I get that many all of a sudden? Did I, I must have got a bonus that I wasn't even paying attention to. Oh, okay, awkward. As a result of your performance across the season, an additional 592 points have been awarded in aid for the next season. Was that just added or was that already done? And that, I'm guessing, means that I don't get a on contract offer? Or maybe they already get... I don't know. Anyway, we're getting thrashed. Okay, well, judging on that... Look at the see, Look, see this green before Mercedes, Scuderi, Ferrari and Red Bull. They do have a bit of an interest in me. So judging on that, you would assume that Renault, McLaren and Sauber might offer me a contract here. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, don't want to see all that. Cool. Dear Ben, we're delighted to announce your performance has been above expectations. So finished tenth championship. You were signed at seventh. Well, science did nothing. Why don't I get put up to first driver when I'm wiping the floor with him in terms of the points? All right. So I'm not going to get an offer. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Not even an offer. Next season. Okay. Wow, that hurts my feelings. Wow, DNF six twenty ten DNF nineteen twelve. Yeah, okay, we've got we got we we know where we finished. Um, I mean, if you look there on the scale of where the teams are performance wise, uh, we're still third last. McLaren's actually caught up to us quite significantly, haven't they? Well, that looks like it's the end of season two, and not even an offer. Two seasons in a row without an offer. That like, I just you want to get. Wow, they're really strict in this game, aren't they? They're really, really, really strict on this game when it comes to offers. That really hurts my feelings. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. That, ah. Oh. We're going to do some online racing modes uh, here on F1 2017, as I said before. And um, I know I said I'm going to stay with Toro, so probably anyway, but... Um, you just want to be offered. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do some in the meantime. Enjoy these, and uh, we'll get into Season 3, and hopefully Toro Rosso can finally be nice enough and we can perform above where we think we should and hopefully move ourselves up the grid and go towards um, eventually, uh, yeah, moving ahead. So uh, thank you, Toro Rosso. That's the new season. We'll look forward to that. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in to Casual Gamer Oz. My name has been Ben, and we will speak to you for Season 3 and some online races in the meantime. Good night.